doing that anymore at this Ugh. So this is kind of the last vestiges of a great empire of retail. Anna and Hope was a huge player in the early retail scene out in Kmart before Walmart. They used to have a huge store right over there, long gone. And there was a Kmart right over there that closed down because that Anna and Hope opened up. But rather than go bankrupt, they kind of reformed themselves into a real estate holding company and they run this small chain of successful curtain and bath outlets. Basically just some of the departments that used to be in a large N and O. So it's kind of like stepping back in time to see an old N and Hope store with just a few departments. Do, 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 going back in time. Do, oh, okay. Do, 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 do. The store is like that size, the one that we had over there, I'll give you a picture of it. There were only 11 of them. Rhode Island and Massachusetts and one in Connecticut. Lotus is still branded Ann and Hope. It's actually named after a ship okay. uh, that sunk the Ann and Hope. And it's a great story. Look it up on Wikipedia. I wrote the article on Ann and Hope. Did you really? Yes, I did. I'm just standing here all day sniffing ham candles. Ooh, very nice. I'm not gonna buy any of those. They're too expensive, but I have too many at home that I haven't burned. I'm fairly sure that we've seen this exact lamp at uh, Christmas tree shops where it was $9.99 or $14.99. It's $24.99 here, a little more expensive. What you'd expect of a smaller chain. This is more about style and finding the things you like rather than getting a great bargain. I guess this isn't a discount retailer. This organization is exactly how In and Hope's always have been. Right down to the signage details, everything is just like an In and Hope, just like a small piece of an In and Hope carved out. I do like this. It's again in that nautical vein that seems to be very popular with these these retailers. What do you think, Ray? I think it's kind of fun. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Right next to the the boat lamp with a functional draw. These little blue lamps are very cute too. Small, not so much these. Touch lambs, I don't care for them, but those are uh, those other ones are kind of nice with the blue. It's pretty, not cheap. No, no. nothing super cheap, but an interesting variety. It's a very small mattress for a uh, something incredibly uncomfortable. It's like it's one foam sheet. The amazing selection of mirrors. There's so many of them. Wow. Mirrors have kind of fallen out of fashion as a decorating element, I think. But they're so nice for adding light. I actually have only the bathroom mirror in my whole house. Don't have any more. Not the best for filmmaking. No. Oh, 999 mirror. Little 999 mirror. 9999. Still, still kind of pricey. The interesting thing about this rug thing, it's the only one that I know of configured like this where they've always had the rug hangers. It's Home Depot hangers. does that, but they don't do it. No, no one does it kitty corner. No. Except Ann and Hope. And it's interesting that e even the original Ann and Hope stores was the same orientation relative to the door. So you'd enter there. If you went straight back, you get the kitty corner rug display. I don't know if it's just a, a layout phenomenon of the person who does the store layout just said, okay, well, entrance is relative to that. This goes here. Or if there's some science behind it. This yeah. is how we sell more rugs. This is how we sell more rugs. It's very like, 80s to me. How do you feel about textured rugs, Nina? Um, I don't like them for cleaning purposes. Di yeah, disapprove. The rug that I have in my house is actually textured. And I love the color, but I didn't realize it was textured. And it's very hard to vacuum. These are expensive, 139 If I had my druthers, <clears throat> it'd be heated floors all the way. Sure, but the, the problem with that is carpets are so good at helping control dust. Um, because it catches it. It's like a big air filter for your house, basically. And then you can vacuum it right out. Yeah. These are kind of nice, um, nice entryway rugs. Nice and textured so they stay in place nice and long. They're not that bad in price, too. I actually have a few saved up because I go through them. So I'm not going to buy one, but that's actually a pretty good price for that rug. Look at these um, these area rugs. I love being able to see the whole rug oh, on, the, nice. on the display. And you can totally swing it open. These are quite reasonable, too. $99 for one of these. Oh, yeah, these are bad. Pretty good solid weave. Not super premium, but still nice. These are the kind of rugs that you would put under like your dining room table. This is another real Anna and Hope thing is to hang the curtain panels on walls or style them completely in aisles. This is another thing that uh, Anna and Hope done that no one has picked up since. Yeah. Uh, and I actually think it gives you a really good idea of what the window dressing will actually look like. I think the style is trying to appeal to someone a little bit older than us. I think this is like the, like, People who did this kind of decorating in, you know, 15 years ago when Anne Hope was a big thing, I think that's still getting a lot of core business. A lot of nice little valances. I love the bunching. A lot of uh, cold weather curtains, which are really nice. Curtains can actually save you a lot of money in heating if you have nice curtains. The soundtrack, it's again, it's the same as Anne and Hope. 50s, pleasing music, very nice, very easy to listen to. Very mild. Very mild. Good for shopping, good shopping music. Alternative window. Very nice signage. And this is, if you don't want curtains, you can get all kinds of great things. I actually have a, kind of a Roman blind in my house. I really like those. Lots and lots of curtain rods. Look at the selection of curtain rods. And look, a shade cutting machine. 
Home Depot has kind of pulled in some of those things because Walmart sells shades, but they don't—they won't cut them for you. Yeah. Walmart has some weird, cheap self ones where you kind of rip it. These come out much better. This is the kind of uh, stuff that I want to get, and it's very reasonably priced. One of the problems that's been created in retail is places don't carry things, so you have to order online. And ordering that online, it's going to be big bucks. But if this you come really here, good. twelve million. Yeah, it's very reasonable. We kind of have fully experienced now the curtain aspect of curtain and bath outlet. And the rest of the store is pretty much bath. I actually need a new set of floor mats and toilet mats and maybe towels, but I don't know if I'm gonna find what I'm looking for here. Training seats. Yeah. It's a nice simple one too. Uh, unlicensed cartoon characters. Yeah, you know, Animal. for simplicity. Animal sake. friends. They all poo. You poo too. You want to start poo. pooing unlicensed. Oh uh, yeah, I think so. You don't want to go right for licensed poo. Is it Nina compliant? Yeah, it's approximately correct. So there you go. If you're a Nina, you can buy a scale. Seven ninety nine. What do you want? Oh yeah, that's like toaster prices. Walmart once sold a toaster that was two ninety nine, oh. a two dollar and ninety nine cent toaster. Buy it. And I said I would not buy it. Ooh, separated buckets. Separated buckets for your cleaning water and your rinse water. Very nice to have. There's nothing in my cart. It might get abandoned. These used to be made of metal back in the day. You can't find these probably anywhere except here anymore or online. It looks like a torture device. You can hang small and, children. Yeah, small children, or you know, you don't want to put in the dryer like socks okay. that might shrink. Just hang oh. them on here. You got a nice little array. This is for small sundries. Right. Small sundries. I actually have been thinking about trying to put a clothesline in because in the summer it's so much nicer to dry outside, mm -hmm. so much fresher smelling. Uh, it's a little more work, but it's really nice. This is kind of a cute little hamper. Like the that wicker, one. wicker style. Let's your stuff kind of air so you don't just build stink on it. That's actually a good idea. A shoe spinner. Oh. That's a, that's a classic device. I like this like closet system. Yeah. If you don't have a closet, you it's can pretty make yourself cool. some shelves. Yeah. This might be my new hangout. This heavy duty one is 40, 39.99. That's reasonable. That's what they cost. This is 34.99. Yeah, usually within five or $10 of that. So yeah. that's normal price. I, I could find most of this at Walmart so far. Or Target. Not quite, not quite. Some of it's a little more specialized. Yeah, a little Like more if you want specifically a dust ruffle, you don't see a lot of dust ruffles floating around. Because most people don't want those things. Yeah. You might be right. But what if you damage one piece of your set? You really want to go out and buy a whole new set? No. I mean, that's certainly the Walmart way. They want you to come in and buy a Just new buy set. Just buy a set of Luxurious, soft. A little thin though. Bath rug fan. Oh, I am. My father and, and mother were not. They never put rugs down in the bathroom except one under the shower, but never a toilet rug. And I always, every week, they, they get washed. I was so. going to say, can you wash them? Some of the backing, yes. I feel like after a while would. I've, I've got two that I bought at Walmart, and they're getting a little old now, but I've had them for two years washing them every week. Oh, baby. Mm. It's, it's Ooh, very soft. Wouldn't you love to step out of the shower onto that? <laughs> Ripped right off the skin of a puppy. I still want heavier. I want heavier than this. Why? Because then it'll stay in place better and it'll also wear better in the wash. And this is 100% polyester. I'd like nylon. Nylon will wear better and will also wash better over time. Have you ever had one of these, Nina? I have one that I like for cooking. Not, yeah. not for this. I like to put it near my stove and yeah, sink for when I'm on. standing. The problem I've had with these is they don't wash. Yeah. They, they fall apart in a while. Yeah. I feel this one, Nina. It's, it's kind of a combination of memory oh. foam plus that really lush. It's nice, but it's too small. And it's the kind that I worry would not be washable. Yeah, I wouldn't wash for it, though. A little, a little harsh? Give him a feel, Frankie. What do you think? Oh, no. No, 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 no. And you may have noticed, Frankie, the cart has been abandoned. Not seen anything. I didn't see any bath rugs that really pulled my interest. It looks really nice. But Nina looks good in hats in general. Her head kind of suits hats. We saw some wind chimes over at a Christmas tree shops, and these are much nicer. Oh. <gasps> Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's that's really true. pretty. $23 for a quality wind chime, that's actually pretty reasonable. Oh. Hear that, that lovely sound? So you can really deafen the neighbors. That's really nice. And very reasonable. 30 bucks. Hooded sweatshirt. Fruit of the loom. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I didn't end up buying anything. The prices are really kind of a little on the high side. Actually, they're on the normal side. If you find the same two items, I think the prices would be comparable between Bed Bath & Beyond in here. And it's a fun return to the 80s It 90s. certainly is. I think some of those people are the people who used to work at the End & Hope. They're opening new locations. And look, look at the number of cars that are here on a Sunday morning just for, for this shop. Not every store needs to survive the next 200 years. No. You know, if they decide that old people will spend money for the next 20. Yeah. It almost is worth a start. That's right. And again, Ann and Hope still owns all of this real estate. Even if they're just slightly better than breaking even, they can still preserve their brand name for, for whatever they want. That curtain rod, that'll probably bring me back here, honestly. You wouldn't say a together. word about this store if it didn't say Ann and Hope on the front. You're right. I wouldn't go in. <laughs> um, 
Frankie, can you identify this plant? Yellow. This is a forsythia. It's actually a pretty good impression of a forsythia. It was on the discount rack. I look at it, it's almost all curtains. Completely curtains in the discount rack. And you know how I feel about curtains. Not that into them. 